Hey lovers, my name is Cindas and welcome to day one of Vlogtober. Now, as you can see, I have my hair in clips. I'm hoping it holds the curls just like it did in this video. I thought it would be cute to start Vlogtober by answering your questions while I get ready. I bought some new vegan products at Ulta, but no, this video is not sponsored. Okay, so we're gonna play 21 questions and then I'll change my outfit and put my other corset on at the end. Okay, let's go. So question number one, what's my sign? I'm a Taurus. I turned 30 on May 6th. I started my retin-A, so I am peeling a little bit. I don't know if the 4K is catching that. I hope it's not. So while wow, this uh, dries. Question number two. What's my favorite activity while wearing and not wearing a corset? Okay, so while wearing a corset, filming videos. So whether that be sitting here and talking to you guys or taking you all with me on one of my corset vlogs. I just love filming it. My favorite activity while not wearing my corset is going shopping and trying on clothes, duh. But I could never do that while wearing my corset. Trying on clothes is a hassle in and of itself already. Question number three, where are you from? Well, I was born and raised in SoCal and I still currently reside there. But as for my background, my mom is Italian and my dad is Middle Eastern. He's a blend of Lebanese and Syrian. I got two concealers, an NYX and an ELF one. So I'm gonna do one on one eye and one on the other and see which one looks better. But moving on to question number four, what drew me to corsets and what is my goal waist? So what drew me to corsets was back in 2013, I was working at a gym and I wanted to lose just on my midsection. But everyone said that spot reduction was a myth. So I did a ton of research and I don't know how I found it, but my research led me to Lucy Corsetry on YouTube. So I started waist training and I saw results and I was hooked ever since. And I don't know if I have a goal waist right now. It used to be 24 inch natural waist, so a 20 inch corseted waist. But right now, I'm just focused on losing the weight I gained from all the vacationing I've been eating, I mean doing. I guess right now, my goal waist is back down to my natural 28 inches. But I am going to do a video on all my current measurements, so stay tuned for that. I also got two foundations. One is e.l.f. and one is the NYX. So again, we're going to do e.l.f. on the right side and NYX on the left side. So question number five says, where is your favorite place to go on vacation? Pretty much anywhere away from home. <laughs> but I loved Italy. That was like the number one vacation I've been on thus far. But I guess overall, anywhere as long as I'm really close to nature. Whether it be beach, mountains, or desert. <laughs> Is my earth sign showing? A really good color, not gonna lie. What's my favorite movie and favorite TV show? Is question number six. Well, up until recently, my favorite movie was What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. But now it's that movie that just came out recently, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Like, I cried so much in both of those movies. I love movies that touch my soul. As for my favorite TV show, Bridgerton. But also probably Law & Order SVU. I think I'm on like season 19. I started watching it from the beginning because I'm waiting for the new season of Bridgerton. So question number seven is, what would you be if you weren't a YouTuber? You know, I still don't feel comfortable telling people that I'm a YouTuber because I feel like I'm not qualified. Maybe because I'm not monetized yet, I don't know. But honestly, I really don't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't for YouTube. I mean, I have a background in human resources, but I don't think I'd ever go back to that. I mean, if I had to choose a TikToker, Okay, this is editing Cinda's and I am completely sorry. I totally skipped question number eight. So I'm so sorry to whoever asked that, but let's do it real quick right now. So question number eight was how many corsets do you have? So right now I have four corsets total. My beige mesh overbust corset from Orchard Corset. My pink satin underbust corset from Orchard Corset. My pink satin 
Overbust corset from Corset Story. And I have a black satin overbust corset from Orchid Corset. I don't wear the black one as often because I don't wear black in my wardrobe as much anymore. And it's completely unlaced, so. But maybe I'll pull that out for Vlogtober. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see it. So question number nine is, when are you gonna do your giveaway and what will you include in it? To be honest, I'm not sure when I'll do my giveaway. I wanted to do it last month, but then things kept happening and then I ended up going on vacation. Sorry, it's been put on the back burner. But I'm thinking once I reach my 4,000 hours of watch time and become monetized, I'll do my giveaway. I'm gonna include some of my Shein corsets, some of my steel boned corsets, and maybe some other little random things too. And I will be shipping worldwide to the winner. I need to make a video on that like the guidelines and such. Thanks for reminding me. Question number 10, when are you gonna make your Patreon? Wow, you guys are really calling me out in these questions. Okay, so I did create the Patreon, and if you go to the link in my description, you can find it there. But I haven't had enough time or energy to take photos for that. I did kinda start it, but I know I need to put more love into it. You can still subscribe to my Patreon to support me or show me love. But yeah, Patreon is also on my back burner. Sorry guys. Question number 11. What is your favorite kind of video to make? Hmm, I really like making the traveling videos because it gives me an excuse to relive my travels. I also like making videos where I'm wearing my corset because one, I know you guys like those videos, but two, it forces me to wear my corset even on days when I don't want to. Okay, question number 12. Do you recommend sleeping in a corset and do you sleep in your corset? I recommend sleeping in your corset if you feel okay or comfortable lying down in it. Maybe start off small or like short lengths lying down in your corset just to kind of get the hang of it and make sure you loosen your corset before you lie down. Then work your way to sleeping in it. I'll put a video down in my description of how I lie down in my corset. And lately I have been sleeping in my underbust corset. And I noticed that when I do sleep in my corset, I wear it during the day for longer. Maybe because I woke up in it, so it tricks me into putting it back on once I change out of my jams. But there are nights where I'm like, nope, not tonight. Question number 13, what does your username mean? My YouTube username is my name, Cindas. And then I added corset lover because I love corsets. Cindas is a kind of English way of saying my name, which is Arabic, and it means silk. Question number 14, what's your favorite fall drink? Please don't say pumpkin spice. <laughs> okay, but um, my favorite fall drink is pumpkin spice, but it's a chai tea latte with pumpkin spice. I can't just do pumpkin spice, that's too sweet for me. But yeah, during fall, I have to have a pump or two. Let's move on. Question number 15, why do you only get your corsets from Orchard Corset? <laughs> from Orchard Corset. Well, my pink overbust satin corset is from Corset Story. But to be honest, Orchard Corset prices are pretty good. That's mainly the reason why. But for sure, the next corset I get will not be from Orchard Corset because I wanna get a better quality corset once I reach my waist goal from question number four. Okay, question number 16. Who are your favorite corset wearers on YouTube or anywhere else? Okay, so of course I'm gonna say Lucy Corsetry. She has the best educational videos, hands down, but I also like Ashley White. She has really cute corset videos. I don't really follow any other corset wearers on social media because honestly, the ones I find are mainly educational and I prefer comedy and entertainment. But hey, if you're a corset wearer, drop your username in the comments below so we can all check you out. Okay, question number 17. Is working out in a corset more beneficial to achieving your desired shape? So no, you're not supposed to work out in a steel boned corset. That would really hurt you and your corset. But you can work out in a waist trainer. Those have plastic bonings and are more flexible. And while we're on the topic of working out, a lot of people in my comments say that I should just work out instead of wearing a corset. But what they don't realize is that wearing a corset isn't to lose weight. It's to achieve a desired body shape. And you can achieve your desired body shape without a corset. 
and without losing weight. So yeah, I just want to throw that out there. Because a lot of people were getting confused with those two things. And losing weight and changing your body shape are two completely different things. Also, some people say if you work out with weights, you can achieve your desired body shape, which is completely true, but not to an extent of achieving a 20 inch natural waist. Just saying. It's kind of weird doing my hair like in a mirror on a camera. So I don't know if things are looking good. We'll see the final thing. But let's move on to question number 18. Have you had any permanent results with corset training? Yes, I have. Even when I gain weight, my waist is still smaller in comparison to the rest of my body. I do want to point out though that my natural body shape is hourglass or pear, however you want to describe it. But it wasn't always like this, like noticeable or as prominent until I started waist training. I'll try to post some pictures of me here or here showing how I looked before I started waist training, so before 2013. Okay, question number 19. What advice would you give to someone interested in wearing corsets? Well, of course I'm gonna say watch my videos because I do have some educational tips, especially the corset shorts playlist I made of my 30 day corset check series where I answer frequently asked questions and give tips and tricks. But I also answered a ton of questions on my Patreon under the $10 corset lover tier. So if you wanna quickly read over through 20 plus question and answers where I go into depth and give my opinion nobody asked for, then there's that too. Okay, question 20. How the heck did you travel in a corset? Well, I put my corset on after I went through TSA and when I was on the plane and train, I wore my corset really loose. But there were times where I just had to take it off because it was so uncomfortable sitting for such a long, long period of time. And the majority of the time, I wore it underneath my clothes, like under my outfits. It's honestly not as hard as it seemed. And I actually started sleeping in my corset in Italy because I would eat like really heavy Italian food and I'd feel super bloated at night and wearing my corset really helped with that. So when I came back to the States, I was like, let me keep sleeping in my corset. If I could do it in Italy, I can do it here too. Question 21, why are you so cute? If you could get a custom corset, what would it look like? Well, first of all, thank you, I appreciate that. If I could get a custom corset, it would be a light baby pink overbust and the neckline would be like very low baby doll scoop neck. Maybe with like a soft or eggshell white or cream detailing. And silk laces at the back. Also the busk and the grommets would be gold instead of silver. So I do have a bonus question. And that is question number 22. Are you single? No, I'm not single, but I do want to keep my personal life out of this for now. Okay, so here's the final makeup look. For as good as it's going to get on camera and doing it all this way, multitasking like crazy, I am going to go take my hair down and change my outfit and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is mommy look. Okay lovers, so this is the final look. I have this skirt on from, I think, Amazon. And then my corset story, overbust pink satin corset. And then I took down my hair and I mean, it looks pretty good. So I'm not complaining. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Don't forget to like this video. Ciao.